Hey, what's up, boxing fans? Michael Montero here with undefeated junior middleweight prospect, Sergei Bohachuk. Thank you so much for joining us, Sergei. I know you're busy in camp, so thank you for, for hanging out with us. And Samir Azizi, assistant to Tom Loeffler at 360 Promotions to help out with some of the translation. Although, Sergei, you're getting very, very good with your English. So uh, let's uh, let's get right into it. You have a fight coming up March 4th against Brandon Adams in Puerto Rico. What do you know about your opponent and what do you expect in this fight? Что ты думаешь, что ты ожидаешь? Брэндон Адамс, good opponent. Good opponent for me. This is good good experience for me. This is big big step for me. Брэндон smart hard smart opponent. And this guy have big career. This guy has a big career. This, this is a serious fight for me. This mm -hmm. is a very serious fight for me. He's He's got more experience than you as a professional. He went 12 rounds with Jamal Charlo in 2019. Have you had a chance to look at any of his fights? And do you see anything particular in his style that you can take advantage of? Yes, 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 yes. I, I watch... Um, too much fights this guy i am going to fight um, charlo good 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 guy good this, this guy give good fight charlo this guy um, uncomfortable uncomfortable and uncomfortable yes. uncomfortable yeah yeah uncomfortable скользкий как сказать такой slippery Slippery, yeah. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is. I don't know how to explain it. It's is... очень такой неудобный такой корявый оппонент. Yeah, so very like slippery and crooked, you know, very uncomfortable opponent for him. He's also uh, a lot shorter than you. He, he's a few inches shorter. Uh, you have longer arms. So in terms of styles. Is that something that you think you could take advantage of? Do you want to keep him on the outside, use your length, use your height, or do you want to try to get inside on him? What is your strategy for this fight? What is my strategy? Yes. <laughs> this is secret. This is secret for <laughs> Brandon Adams. Okay. This is secret for my fans. I show fight. fight my... mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's talk about the junior middleweight division right now, I believe the WBC rates you number seven, correct me if I'm wrong on that Samir, but I think it's, it's number seven that have you ranked. Uh, if things go well with Brandon Adams, when do you think you might be ready for a title shot to go for a world title? Yes. Yes. That's also with Norm. I think it might be, I'm win Adams. I'm a, up WBC, it may be three, two position WBC out of this fight. Okay. Maybe maybe one, two fight, a cup, maybe more, more couple fights and the title fight. I think so. Maybe soon. after this fight, maybe two fights or something like that, and then world championship after this fight. fight. Maybe two, one, two fight and okay. world champion. Right now in the division, uh, Jermel Charlo holds three of the titles and the Ring Magazine Championship. Brian Castano has the WBO Championship. If those two were to fight this year, who do you think wins that fight? Who win? Yes. Um, I, I, I know of, uh, Brian Castano. This is good guy. This is uh, I'm trying to send him this guy. This is good guy. This is guy. Everything working. Everything. I know this guy. I I I don't know Charlo. I don't have sparring Charlo. I don't have experience training Charlo. I don't know what what, uh, what Charlo. I know Brian Castano. I I think my win Brian Castano. You think Brian Castano can beat Charlo? Can win? Yeah. Let's talk about no, this, uh, this is, this oh, is go ahead, my, go ahead. my opinion. I think it's my understanding. No, a lot of people agree with you, Sir. I, I've seen a lot of people on social media, on Twitter, 
uh, on, on different podcasts say the same thing and they share your opinion that Castano can beat Charlo. I, I think that uh, that's a very good fight if it ever happens. Um, let's talk about your training camp for Brandon Adams. Right now you're in Los Angeles training with Manny Robles. When do you go to Puerto Rico? Because that's where the fight is taking place. Do you know when you're going to Puerto Rico yet? When go Puerto Rico? Yes. Um, 28. It's Sunday. Next Sunday. Next Sunday, leave Puerto Rico. So you go in Sunday before the fight. So just a, a few yeah. days before the fight. Five, five, five days before the fight, yes. Okay. And what kind of testing do you have to do for COVID? Do you have to take tests before you get on the plane, after you land in Puerto Rico? What's the situation with COVID testing? Uh, look, look, look. Uh, now, situation, COVID situation, this, uh, I'm um, done everything, uh, COVID test. Mm -hmm. I have one test. I'm done one test uh, before. Uh, now, I'm uh, maybe one more test before leaving. And come Puerto Rico. I'm coming Puerto Rico Sunday, Sunday night. Me closing room. Monday morning, uh, I done test. I'm sit room. I I can't go to outside. I'm wait mm -hmm. test room, the room. Uh, Monday evening, test good, test negative. I can. Um, uh, I can uh, training, I can как сказать, выходить из комнаты. I can go outside. Yeah, I can oh, go, you, go I can you go can. outside, yes. Yeah. Okay. If so the test, if the test is if, if the test is good. So it's not a bubble yeah. situation where you have to stay inside the hotel for the whole yeah. week. Uh, stay hotel, stay hotel everything before a fight, stay just stay hotel. Okay. I, I can't uh, contact uh, people. I can't go to outside hotel. Hotel, everything, stay hotel. No, no, no outside. Okay. Okay. Just hotel, uh, gym, gym inside hotel. Just, just training, keep working, and the rest. That's it. I so can't you have go to, stay... to outside and speak uh, people. I can't. After fight, before fight, I can't. After the fight, right. Well, so, so for making weight, for training at the hotel and everything, you're going to stay at the hotel gym. Uh, I saw Tom Loeffler. I'm sorry. I don't know if you guys are hearing that big pinging. People are keep texting me, so I'm sorry if you no, hear it's that. Okay. It's okay. okay. <laughs> I'm, I want to text them to stop, but they're just going to respond and say, okay, so it will just beep again. But um, I was going to ask, uh, making weight for 154 pounds. Is that difficult for you? And how long do you think you can stay at 154 before you have to move up to 160 pounds? Um, I don't know what I'm feeling. I'm feeling hard for me to make 154. I'm fine. I'm, I'm up 160, 168. For me, what I'm feeling? Feeling good, I'm stay here. Uh, feeling hard for me lose weight, I'm up. And right now, it, you feel good? You have no problems? Yeah, 154? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Today because they call you El Flaco, today, the skinny. Today morning, <laughs> today morning, my vein, 160. Today morning, okay. I wake up, I'm 160. It's, it's good. I'm, I'm feel good. I'm, I don't hungry. I'm good eat, good sleep, good, good drinking. So you can keep eating. You don't have to stop eating the week of the fight. You can eat, no problem. Uh, no, no, stop. Uh, a little bit uh, small, small eat. Yeah. Small, small day, small, small day, small day, small day, and a uh, couple time and small. Okay. Not, not I want to much. ask. No, not Lara eat. Not too much. That's what I do. I eat too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when did you start boxing? How old were you when you started boxing back in Ukraine? And how did you, uh, who, who brought you to boxing? Was it your, your father? Was it? Family members, no, or did no, you discover no, no. yourself? I, I don't have uh, not brother, not father. I don't have boxers. My family. Okay. I'm just one boxer. I I'm uh, starting boxing maybe nine or ten years. For me, I'm young, maybe. 
nine or ten years. Nine okay. Ten years. Yeah, yeah, yes. I start boxing. And uh, go, 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 and now have result. This is hard work. This is I'm everything working, 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 working. This is very hard work. When did you know that you wanted to to box professionally? Was it was there a time in your life that you remember where you thought I could do this professional? I could do this and make good money. Если переведи, я понимаю, как почему ты начал профессиональную карьеру или как? Когда ты решил, что ты можешь биться в профи за деньги настоящие? Когда ты такое решение принял для себя? Когда начал зарабатывать деньги еще в любительском боксе, как сказать? Um, я могу перевести. Когда почувствовал, когда почувствовал прибыль от бокса, вот переведи ему, когда почувствовал, что на боксе можно... Изначально занимался для того, чтобы, ну, для себя, но когда я почувствовал, что на, на боксе надо, ну, можно зарабатывать деньги, тогда уже, как бы, я начал well... за это думать. Right. Well, first I I was just boxing for myself, but then when I realized, you know, uh, because I already started earning money when I was in amateurs, uh, okay. yeah. and so when I realized that there's real money on that, and even during amateurs, I realized that yeah, that's when I decided to to do that professionally. So is he? He was a teenager, I'm guessing at that point, like junior amateurs, and then he he realized at that point, like man, I could do this professionally. I'm good enough. I can make some real money. Подростковом возрасте. Еще... Ну да, да, еще когда молодой, еще по, по, ну, по этим. Yes, young, young. When, uh, when I'm boxing, I might work out maybe 17 years. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and, and um, you were training with Abel Sanchez before up in Big Bear. Now you're training with Manny Robles. What's the difference in their approach to, to training? And how do you like working with Robles yes. so far? Um, I, I like it. Abel Sanchez. Abel Sanchez give me big experience. Give me good, um, good, как сказать, много... Skill off? Да, да, да. Skills. Like, like, skills, yeah. Skill yeah, off. I, to, to, <laughs> I yeah, got yeah. that word. Give, give me too much skills, yes. I, I like it, Abel Sanchez. Abel Sanchez, good, good coach, good people, very good. Now I'm working, uh, I change Abel Sanchez for many Robles because my manager uh, will have conflict, Abel Sanchez. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I need, I need change, I need change. I change now, I'm working um, many Robles. Manny Robles, smart coach, young, smart coach. I like it. I like it because this guy teach me too much, teach me everything, tell me you need everything, teach, teach, teach. I like it. I like it, everything moving. I, I don't like stop. Hmm. I don't like stop. Manny tell me everything, don't stop, never, never stop. After boxing career, you can stop. Now, never mm -hmm. stop. Everything teaching, everything working. Everything tell me smart boxing, moving smart. I I'm pressure, yes. Uh, and uh, many tell me everything smart pressure, smart pressure, thinking, thinking and punches. No, just too much punch, crazy boxing. This is this is not good. Right, right. Yeah. So he's this teaching thing. you to think, think when you fight. Think yeah, before think, you punch. Think, everything thinking. No, 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 no crazy. Not crazy. This no crazy. <laughs> not good. The fan, the fans like crazy, but crazy is not good for the fighter, right? Yes. So, okay. Uh, how do you like living and training in Los Angeles? You know, you grew up in Ukraine, and now uh, you're fighting out of Los Angeles. Uh, do you like LA? Do you? see yourself maybe living there full time or do you think uh later on you might switch back and forth between los angeles and ukraine um i like it i'm very like it ukrainian i'm very like it ukrainian food i'm very like it ukrainian people los angeles i i'm i'm like it too los angeles everything warm here 
yeah. everything beautiful weather. Ukrainian now uh, 20, minus 21 Celsius <laughs> weather. This is very cold. Very, very, very cold. Here, good weather. Good people. I, I like it, these people. Ukrainian hard life. Ukrainian hard life. Everything hard. People's everything hard, hard work. Here, easy life. Here, easy life. Here, как сказать, hmm. smile, smile life. This is, I, I like it. Happy, happy life. life. Yeah. This is happy life, yeah. Happy life. I, I like it, Los Angeles. I like it, America, too. Ukrainian, I like it. I'm everything. I'm here too much time. I'm here last year. I'm here 11 months. Home, I'm just one month. Now maybe to here half year. Okay. Go to home maybe one month and go go here now maybe six months. I'm everything okay. here now because I'm young now. I'm hungry now. I need I need the fight. I need boxing. Now so here he, now here my home. Right, because, right. Because the, here my career, my boxing career. And maybe uh, twice a year, two times a year, you go back to Ukraine where your family is. And uh, do they ever get a chance to come visit you in America? Еще раз последнее, я не понял, за что. Они навещали ли тебя твоя семья в США? No, my family don't have visa. Okay. Don't have, I, okay. I, I, my family hard come you say because need visa, long right. time fly. Maybe later. Maybe little bit Maybe later. later. Yes. Maybe you, you win a world title and then yeah, uh, yeah, get yeah, some more yeah. money, then those things become easier. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, so, okay. Can you give us a prediction for what the fans can expect March 4th in Puerto Rico, you versus Brandon Adams? Прогноз, что ожидать фанатам? I have good opponent. I have very hard opponent. I am good ready. I am good ready before this fight. I am very good ready. I am hard work before this fight. I am make it too much sparring. I have too much sparring partners, Sam Brandon Adams style. I'm show my fans very interesting fight. This fight, my fans watch new Sergey Bogachuk, my new style. New style. My my smart my smart style. I show my fans very interesting fight. Really. And I know you're trying to get close to a thousand followers on Twitter. You're almost there. You're 890. So we'll get you over a thousand. Everybody follow Sergey. It is uh, at Twitter. The handle is at S Bihochuk and uh, or Bohochuk, sorry, at uh, Twitter. And check out his fight March 4th, NBC Sports Network against Brandon Adams in sunny Puerto Rico. Uh, Sergey and Samir, thank you so much for taking some time to talk to me. And best of luck March 4th. And we will talk again very soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, bye.